Hello my dear students, in this lecture series of IIT JAM, GET, NET and SET etc exams, we are going to start the vibrational spectroscopy. So first of all we will see the selection rules. The specific selection rule for vibrational transition of a diatomic molecule undergoing a simple harmonic motion is equal to delta V is equal to plus minus 1 where V is the vibrational quantum number. The transition delta V is equal to plus 1 corresponds to absorption and the transition delta V is equal to minus 1 corresponds to emission. In addition to this, another selection rule is that the vibrating molecule must possess a fluctuating dipole moment that is the vibration must be accompanied by a change in dipole moment. For example, let us consider the uh, carbon dioxide molecule. You know in, uh, no, under normal conditions, the CO2 molecule is non-polar, uh, it has zero dipole moment value. Now when the molecule undergo vibration, then it, it will become polar okay and it will possess a uh, dipole moment value so that 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 means that uh, the co2 molecule is said to have a fluctuating dipole moment because when it undergo vibration its dipole moment changes okay now let us discuss the principle of vibrational spectroscopy the vibrational spectra results from the transition between the vibrational energy levels and is observed in the infrared region. The simplest case for vibrational motion is to consider a diatomic molecule undergoing simple harmonic motion. The vibrational energy for such an oscillator can be calculated from the Schrodinger wave equation which is expressed as Ev is equal to V plus half into H omega OSC in joules. Give it equation number 1 where V is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on is the vibrational quantum number and omega OSC is the vibrational frequency of oscillation. Now classically the value of omega OSC is given by omega OSC is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of k by mu in hertz or omega OSC is equal to 1 by 2 pi c into square root of k by mu in centimeter inverse where k is called the force constant of the bond and is expressed in newton per meter and mu is the reduced mass of the system the equation one can also be expressed in terms of the wave number as epsilon v is equal to e v by ac which is equal to v plus half into omega osc bar in centimeter inverse give it equation number two where omega osc bar is the oscillation frequency in wave number the minimum vibrational energy is obtained by putting v is equal to zero and is called the zero point energy thus the zero point energy is given by epsilon zero is equal to half of uh, omega osc bar in centimeter inverse this equation is obtained by putting v is equal to zero in equation number two so this energy is called the zero point energy of the vibrating molecule for an enharmonic oscillator the vibrational energy is given by e v epsilon v is equal to omega e bar into one minus x e into v plus half whole into v plus half give it equation number three where x e is called enharmonicity constant now comparing equation 3 and 2 we get epsilon v is equal to v plus half omega osc bar give it equation number 4 where omega osc bar is given by omega osc bar is equal to omega e bar into 1 minus x e into v plus half give it equation number 5 this means that the harm in harmonic oscillator behaves like a harmonic oscillator but with oscillation frequency that decreases steadily with increase in v now in the ground state v is equal to zero we have omega osc bar is equal to omega e bar into one minus x e by two centimeter inverse and epsilon zero is equal to half omega e bar into one minus x e by two now for the transition v is equal to 0 to v is equal to 1 we have delta v is equal to plus 1 with considerable intensity so 
डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू एफ साल भि इज इक्ल टू वान माइनास एफ साल भि इज इक्ल टू जिरो दिज इम्प्लाइज डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू वान माइनास एक्स इ इन्टू वान प्लास हाफ होल इन्टू वान प्लास हाफ माइनास ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू वान माइनास एक्स इ जिरो प्लास हाफ होल इन्टू जिरो प्लास हाफ दिज इम्प्लाइज डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू वान माइनास थ्री बै टू एक्स थ्री बै टू माइनास ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू वान माइनास हाफ एक्स इ इन्टू हाफ दिज इम्प्लाइज डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू थ्री बै टू ओमेगा इ बार माइनास नाइन बै फोर ओमेगा इ बार एक्स इ माइनास हाफ ओमेगा इ बार प्लास वान बै फोर ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू एक्स इ दिज इम्प्लाइज डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू ओमेगा इ बार माइनास टू ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू एक्स इ दिज इम्प्लाइज डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू वान माइनास टू एक्स इ सेंटीमिटार इनवार्स एगेन फर दार ट्रांजेक्शन भि इज इक्ल टू जिरो टू भि इज इक्ल टू वान डेल्टा भि इज इक्ल टू प्लास टू उथ स्म इंटेन्सिटी सो उ कैन रईट डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू एफ साल भि इज इक्ल टू टू माइनास एफ साल भि इज इक्ल टू जिरो सो सीमिलारलि अन सीम्प्लीफिकेशन उ गेट डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू ट्वैस ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू वान माइनास थ्री एक्स इ सेंटीमिटार इनभार्स ओके द सीम्प्लीफिकेशन इज गिभेन हियर यू चेक बर सेल्फ ओके सीमिलारलि फर द ट्रांजेक्शन भि इज इक्ल टू जिरो टू भि इक्ल टू थ्री डेल्टा भि इज इक्ल टू प्लास टी उथ नेग्लिजिबल इंटेन्सिटी सो डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू एफ साल भि इज इक्ल टू थ्री माइनास एफ साल भि इज इक्ल टू वान सो अन सीम्प्लीफिकेशन उ गेट डेल्टा एफ साल इज इक्ल टू थ्री ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू वान माइनास फोर एक्स इ सेंटीमिटार इनभार्स सो द सीम्प्लीफिकेशन इज शोन हियर यू चेक इट ओके सो सीस एक्स इ इज एप्रक्सिमेटली इक्ल टू जिरो पॉइंट जिरो वान The three spectral lines lie very close to omega e bar, twice omega e bar, and thrice omega e bar. The lines near omega e bar is called the fundamental line, while those uh, twice omega e bar and thrice omega e bar are called first and uh, second over tone, respectively. So this is all about the principle of the vibrational spectroscopy. Now let us solve a problem. The fundamental, the first and second Overton bands of uh, nitrogen molecule are obtained at two, three, four, five point one five, comma four double six one point four zero and six nine eight three point seven three centimeter inverse. Calculate omega e bar x t and the force constant k. So let us solve this problem. According to question, the fundamental band is obtained at wave number three two three four five point one five centimeter inverse. So we can write uh, omega e bar into one minus two x c is equal to two three four five point one five centimeter inverse. So first Overton is obtained at four six six one point four zero. This implies we can write twice omega e bar into one minus three x c is equal to four double six one point four zero. Give it equation number two. Uh, similarly, the second Overton is obtained at uh, wave number six nine eight three point seven three. This implies thrice omega e bar into one minus four x e is equal to six nine eight three point seven three centimeter inverse. Give it equation number three. Now multiplying equation uh, one by three and subtract equation two, we get thrice omega e bar into one minus two x e. माइनास टाइस ओमेगा इ बार इन्टू वन माइनास थ्री एक्स इज इक्ल टू टू थ्री फोर फाइव पॉइंट वन फाइव इन्टू थ्री माइनास फोर डबल सिक्स वन पॉइंट फोर जिरो दिज इम्प्लाइज थ्राइस ओमेगा इ बार माइनास सिक्स ओमेगा इ बार एक्स इ माइनास टाइस ओमेगा इ बार माइनास सिक्स ओमेगा इ बार एक्स एक्स इज इक्ल टू सेवेन जिरो थ्री फाइव पॉइंट फोर फाइव माइनास फोर डबल सिक्स वन पॉइंट फोर जिरो सो अन सीम्प्लीफाइंग उ गेट ओमेगा इ बार इज इक्ल टू टू इनभार्स सबस्टिट्यूटिंग दैल्यू अफ ओमेगा इ बार इक्ल टू टू थ्री सेवेन फोर पॉइंट जिरो फाइव इन इक्वेशन नम्बर वन उ गेट टू थ्री फोर सेवेन फोर पॉइंट जिरो फाइव इन टू वन माइनास टू एक्स सी इज इक्ल टू टू थ्री फोर फाइव पॉइंट वन फाइव दिज इम्प्लाइज वन माइनास टू एक्स सी इज इक्ल टू टू थ्री फोर फाइव पॉइंट वन फाइव डिवेडेड बै टू थ्री सेवेन फोर पॉइंट जिरो फाइव 
which gives 1 minus 2x is equal to 0 0.99 and on simplification we get xe is equal to 0 0.005 right now the calc the reduced mass is given by uh, new mu of n2 is equal to 14 into 14 divided by 14 plus 14 whole into 1.6603 into 10 to the minus 24 gram so on simplifying it you determine the value of mu then calculate the value of the force constant k using the relation k is equal to 4 pi square mu square or c square into omega e bar square okay so you try to find out the value of k using the above relationship i am giving you uh, two more homeworks uh, for you the first one is the HCl molecule shows a very intense absorption at uh, 2886 centimeter inverse, a weaker one at 5886 centimeter inverse, and a faint one at uh, 8347 centimeter inverse. Calculate the force constant. So, in this problem, uh, the very intense line means this is the fundamental line which is obtained at wave number 2886 centimeter inverse. The first one. And the first overtone means the weaker one which is obtained at 5886 centimeter inverse and the second overtone that means the faint one is obtained at 8347 centimeter inverse so just like the previous one you can easily solve this problem also the next one uh, the fundamental vibrational frequency of cn and cn plus are 2069 and 1580 centimeter inverse Calculate the force constant for these two molecules and hence predict which species is more stable. So we can easily uh, find out the value of the force constant K for both the species using this relation. So for this you have to find out the uh, fundamental vibrational frequency uh, is value is given. You have to only find out the value of the reduced mass mu. Okay, then use this relation to uh, find out the value of k for both the species and the species which has higher value of k will be more stable right now we'll have a fundamental equation that uh, describes the vibrational motion which is given by the Morse potential function so Morse express the potential energy for the internuclear distance r by the relation vr is equal to de into 1 minus e to the power minus alpha into r minus re where de is the equilibrium dissociation energy alpha is a constant for a given molecule and re is the equilibrium internuclear distance so this equation is known as Morse potential function and it governs the vibrational motion of a vibrating molecule when the above equation is used in schrodinger equation the allowed vibrational energy levels are found to be ev is equal to v plus half is new zero minus v plus half whole square is x e into new zero where x e is the uh, enharmonicity constant right the potential energy vr represented by the morse potential function when plotted against the internuclear distance r we get a curve s shown in this figure which is called the morse potential curve the curve represents a simple harmonic motion as uh, shown by the blue line whereas the xl one is denoted by the green line so in this curve we have uh, we will see that in the lowest energy state of vibration the diatomic molecule behaves like a simple harmonic uh, oscillator but at higher quantum numbers there is a deviation from the simple harmonic character as you can see here in this uh, figure when the value of v increases uh, there is a deviation from the simple harmonic character which is represented by the green line okay so this deviation of energy levels at higher vibrational states from the harmonic character is known as enharmonicity and uh, to reduce the enharmonicity factor we have to introduce the enharmonicity constant x e right 
okay so this is all about uh, the vibrational spectroscopy so you try to solve more problems and if you have any uh, difficult problem so please uh, put that in the comment box and if you have any doubts then you can also uh, write your views in the comment box i will be waiting for your feedbacks enjoy your learning and take care